In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Automation ML, a data modeling and formatting technology standard for Industry 4.0. My name is Kutsai Mandi Teresa with Industry 4.0.tv and I regularly publish Industrial IoT and Industry 4.0 tutorials, podcasts and live expert discussions on this channel. So if you are new here, please make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell to make sure that you never miss any of the content. This series is sponsored by our friends at HiveMQ, who are providers of an enterprise-grade edge and cloud-based MQTT broker. I use it for my own applications, and they have a free cloud version that allows you to connect up to 100 IoT devices. So please do check it out to help support this channel. So in the previous section, we discussed how the Asset Administration Shell enables the sharing of engineering information of assets in the Industry 4.0 ecosystem. However, what we didn't discuss is in what format is that information shared. You see, the value of having a smartphone is that when taking a photo of yourself or producing a piece of audio or video content, you can share it with your friends, families or the world at large and they will be able to view it using their smartphones, PCs or Macs just by touching or clicking on it. Because in the world of IT, standard data formats have long been established with things like JPEG, PDF, MP3, MP4, etc. On the other hand, for a long time, there's not been one established format of exchanging engineering data between industrial software and hardware tools. And yet, there exists an immense variety of tools in a typical manufacturing facility. From office software to computer-aided design tools, ERPs, robot control software, PLC control software, facilities management, process simulation software, product lifecycle management tools, maintenance management tools, and the list goes on and on. And the main reason is that there hasn't been much of an incentive to come up with a standardized industrial data format. If anything, vendors benefited from having proprietary and closed data formats. However, with the promise of smart manufacturing, the value of exchanging engineering data has moved to the center of discussions by most manufacturing companies. And Automation ML, which was founded in 2006 as a neutral data format for engineering data exchange, has gained relevance as it addresses this need. Now, although Automation ML was initially developed as a file format for use across all engineering life cycles, it has since transformed into a full-fledged object-oriented data modeling language as it has evolved in parallel with industrial technology trends such as manufacturing digitalization, cloud technology, and the industrial Internet of Things. And this makes it a powerful method for achieving seamless engineering data exchange in technologies such as the Asset Administration Shell, which we discussed in the previous section. So instead of exchanging printed electrical or mechanical diagrams of machines, sensors, production systems, etc., an electronic data model is exchanged. Now, let us briefly look at the architecture of Automation ML. So Automation ML is an open, vendor-neutral, XML-based and free data exchange format that enables the transfer of engineering data of production systems from different vendors across a manufacturing enterprise or an entire domain. Automation ML follows an object-oriented approach for storing engineering information, and this allows the modeling of physical and logical plant components as data objects containing different features. Objects may constitute a hierarchy, that is, an object may consist of sub-objects and may itself be part of a larger structure. In addition, each object can contain information about properties that describe the object itself, for example, its geometry, kinematics, and control-related logic information. However, Automation ML was not created from nothing. It follows a modular structure that integrates and enhances already existing XML-based data formats, which are Computer-Aided Engineering Exchange, or CAIACS, Collaborative Design Activities, Collada, and PLC Open XML, and it combines them under one roof. And these data formats integrated into Automation ML are used as they are within their own specifications and are not branched for Automation ML needs. Now, the foundation of Automation ML is the application of the Computer-Aided Engineering Exchange format as a top-level format and its utilization to fulfilling all relevant needs of Automation ML as far as the modeling of engineering information of production systems is concerned. 
So the first part integrated into the top level format is Collider, which is used for describing the geometry and kinematics of the different automation ML objects, followed by the PLC open part, which is used for describing control related logic data of the different automation ML objects. And the last part uses computer aided engineering exchange for describing relations among automation ML objects and references to information that is stored in documents outside of the top level format. By integrating further description means, such as Collider for geometrics and PLC Open for process descriptions and control programs, Automation ML enables the linking of all planning and operational information to the assets of a system. Automation ML thus provides what is necessary to build a digital twin of an industrial plant. In conclusion, Automation ML is an extensive project. So for more information, please check out their website and various white papers on the technology.